uh, first of all, I do like the way you, I do like your uh, your handle, M, <laughs> E-M. And like, you know, well, I don't want to talk about this because it be like uh, uh, the Wizard of Oz, Auntie M. Did they ever say that to you? No, they did not. That's good. Uh, That's I think you started with the M. And you know what somebody said to me? They said, well, of course, M is me backwards. Oh, I never right. thought about it that way. Neither have I. You know, <laughs> and then they flipped it around and they said, "But M is also we if you flip it around the other way." Yes. So it was like the you know the I and the we. Um, it's the community and the individual. It's quite interesting. Well, uh, well, tell us about that. How does that relate to you? How, how's how? Oh well, you see, um, for a long time, I wanted to find a job, uh, a kind of way to work where it would involve the community. Mm-hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm knitting. Did I tell you that part? Yeah, yeah. So you're still you're you're a we you're a we more than a, than a me. Okay, yeah, yeah. But, so yeah. so yeah. So so what happened is I found out that if you knit with old-fashioned knitting needles, mm-hmm. it takes too long and you can't make money out of it really. Yeah. And I'm sort of saying somebody came along to me and they said, you know, this thing of uh, crafts, mm-hmm. it's not any use. You can have a whole garage full of things that have been made and they can be very clever like beadwork or pottery or all sorts of different crafts. Mm-hmm. But if you can't sell it, then you don't have a business. Mm-hmm. And if you can't get money, then people aren't happy that, you know, because they they need money to live. Yeah. So so I uh, started, I've been doing it for a few years now where I, I got all the different knitting machines and I got all different kinds of yarns and I joined the Weavers Guild and I learned how to do all different kinds of stitches. Is there there's a Weavers Guild in South Africa? Mm-hmm. Ooh, wait a second. I don't want... You want to be in the I, I, Weavers Guild? <laughs> I don't want to interrupt you, but you have to tell me about the weavers go. What does this mean? What's the, what well, it's a little bit like an old-fashioned thing where people with looms mm-hmm. um, like to meet with one another, and then they share sort of techniques of what they do with the making fabric. And sometimes they're now bringing in a bit of knitting and a few other things because it's basically textiles. Well, how, how often do they meet? Well, this was in Johannesburg, oh, okay. but in Cape Town there's one. And um, and they were meeting once a month. Is it all over South Africa or just the major? Only a area? few. And there's probably like there were 20 or 30 people in that, mm-hmm. that group. And it's quite nice because they were all a little bit more technical than average. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, looming works quite well with people who like mathematics and stuff like that. So um, and even the knitting and the crocheting for some reason. Okay. There's some people who... who We've taken the maths of it. Yeah, the mathematical mind. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I knocked you off. Go ahead. So, and so anyway, so so I, I learned all of this, and now technically I have a studio in Riesenberg, mm-hmm. opposite Checkers. Mm-hmm. And so what I'm trying to do is do something a bit like Uber, where if you have a car with Uber, then you have a job. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying if you have a knitting machine, and then I teach you how to make the things that, that are knit, and then what I do is I buy the, the yarn in uh, like a white color, undyed, mm. and then I put the color into it afterwards. Mm. So I either put the color in before you start knitting, mm. or after you've made it, you can, it's quite nice sometimes, you can do it a little bit like tie-dyeing, yeah. but it's just multicolor and you can spray it with things. Mm. And so anyway, so then I have to sell it on the internet or find some ways of getting it sold. Well, there, therein lies the, uh, the rub, as they say, because uh, even if you sold on the internet, uh, because we're in South Africa, the delivery system, uh, you know, how do you warehouse it? Uh, what do you warehouse it? Do you, do you have to do like post it and send it to another country in well, bulk? See, and then, you uh, see, they have a thing called a beachhead strategy. A beachhead strategy. So if in the world, in World War II or something, I think mm. they had uh, Battle of D-Day. Yeah, yeah. And so you pick one city mm. in one country. Mm and you send a whole box of stuff over there. Mm. And then what I want to do is, I had plans for Claudia when she was in Paris. Mm-hmm. Now she's come back. But it's very nice if even, maybe even if you if have to uh, have a foreign language or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you, for knitting, it's good to be in a place where it's cold. Mm. You know, because they, they would need a lot of jerseys and things like that. And in South Africa, we take our jerseys and we throw them in the washing machine. Mm. And we don't care because we're not cold. Mm. But if wool, if you wear wool, it's a lot warmer than um, mm. uh, artificial uh, fibers. And we have sheep. Hey. <laughs> you know, okay. it works quite well. But then I've also got cotton and bamboo. Mm. So I want to do something oh. where you can do summer work and winter work. 
But you know that bamboo is now becoming the, the thing of choice. I know we have, I have bamboo socks on right now, you know. You see. Uh, but there's also the hemp. And there was another, I forget what this thing was, because the, the hemp, the, 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 the stalks, that's mm. what they make, I guess they make the thing out of. But they also have, there's this other it's stalk. Linen, that's linen. It, you know, linen, but there's, a, I don't, can't remember what it is, but it's a different, it's another kind of very durable stalk. You know what I mean? So I guess there's a lot of uh, plant kind of things you can make fabric yeah, out of. Yeah, there's quite know? a lot. And then, and as you say, the bamboo's big because um, I've spoken to people where they say, you know, it grows so fast. It oh, yeah, can yeah. Gr grow half a meter in a day. Yes. You know, and it's very, very, lots there. It's got about a thousand uses of it. They make floors out of it and all sorts of things. Fences, furniture. You know, and, and where I'm in Dunbaza, we're making, we're, we're, we're having bamboo patches. To grow, to grow bamboo, uh -huh. and they've already uh, used some of it to help other people make fences like that, you know. So I, I, I was interested because they're also doing that thing with um, charcoal, activated. Charcoal. Do you know about activated charcoal? Well, I know activated charcoal, but I mean, you know, they for toothpaste and stuff like what, 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 what do you? Yeah, they put it. They make it out, out of bamboo, so they 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 uh, burn the bamboo mm -hmm. and then crush it and make it into activated charcoal for uh, water cleansing, for instance. Really? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay. There's a lot of, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of uses of the bamboo, but the thing that I like about it is it's very soft, softer than silk, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit like silk. When you put colors into it, they come up all bright and mm -hmm. nice and, neat and deep and, and interesting. So how, uh, again, if you, this project that you, how would you apply it to a rural area? That's the question, and then, then that rural area has to get it, I guess, get it to... Uh, to Cape Town. Cape Town's got to get it to France or, or Germany or wherever or, or Belgium, see, whatever. You, what I'm hoping is if we can get the government involved. And ah. Eh, ah, eh, eh, I understand. Look, I understand that, but you know, the government... They, they, it doesn't they, have no, to be government. Oh, 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 no, no, you never see the money from government. I agree. No, no, I'm not. I'm, and that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that what we're trying to do is to find a way that we could do it on our own, right? And we know that... It, what happens is if you go to somebody for something, then you're going to them. But if you have something they want and they come to you, the terms of engagement become a little bit different. So we need to, we need, we're, what we're trying to do, especially in Dumbaza, is making so people come to us. Even if you want to know what we're doing, we're not going to have some sort of toolkit or, and go out and teach somebody something. No, no, no. You want to know what we're doing? You got to come to Dumbaza. That's our philosophy, okay? And it doesn't matter to us because we're, we're so far down the rung. Uh, you know, and we we have the infrastructure. In fact, we we have it. We have the we have a, a train system. We got transport. You know, we got we we even got you know we haven't even had a, a little airfield in Dumbaza. We have the oh, infrastructure. It's, it's, yeah. it's right right above King Williamstown. Ah, okay. it's about uh, twenty minutes above King Williamstown. They, it was a factory thing. They, we have the infrastructure for factories. In fact, a lot of people have been looking. They want to come and sort of. You know, big companies try to come and, and take over, but we're trying. We're 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 doing this thing. Criminal. They tried to they tried to uh, uh, have some criminal enterprise coming, so 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 they they sort of kill off the people in Dubai so they can take over. The whole this, these these things are always they've they've these tricks have always been played. So we have a certain philosophy, especially with the young people there that we're that we're working on. You know, we're working on. So back to your your situation. Okay, so, so let me say it like this. I really enjoy working with youth, so maybe that is one thing that we could try, because there's a lot of unemployment amongst the youth. Um, and also, you know, I, I'm thinking that if we did social media and people got really involved with it, mm -hmm. that it would be really nice to be talking to the customers mm -hmm. um, in, a, in a way that's manageable. So you have to be a bit careful because um, it isn't always a good idea. To have too many people, you know, you've been in communications, you know what I'm well, people talking just steal, about. They just steal your ideas again. I'm not so, worried about that because yeah. the thing is, um, I've, I've reverse engineered it all. Mm -hmm. So Claudia knew some people in France that they've got about, I don't know, 200 people working in a particular place. And mm -hmm. I was talking to the one guy and, and, and I compared his numbers with my numbers mm -hmm. because I like spreadsheets and things. And I've been in the business with my ex husband where we employed, say, 24 people and we sold to all the big chains and like that. So um, if you change fast and you are specialized and you make sure you get your cost of materials really far down mm. and you get new machines 
um, and you operated very much more on a cottage industry basis. Mm. So it's not really like a factory or whatever. It's very hard for people to copy it. Uh, okay, I understand. And it's very hard to, you know, you've got to find the right people because knitting can get boring. So what mm. I want to do is I want to have like videos in a, in a lounge area mm. so that people can knit when they feel like it. They get paid by weight of what they do. Mm. So that there's no like favoritism or anybody's, I mean, obviously it's, you know, there are a lot of different tasks, so it's mm. not as straightforward as it sounds, but mm. um, so that you can actually work however hard you want to. Mm -hmm. I've worked out that people can earn decent, you know, like really quite good money if they work hard. Mm. And they can earn enough to live off if they don't work that hard. Well, Emily, let me ask you this, because my, 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 me, my, my main focus is with uh, young men for a certain reason, right? But we don't, with the communities center I have deals with the entire community, which means we have we have uh, girls, women, whatever involved, you know, involved females involved too. But uh, the reason why uh, when I when you first start speaking, I said, oh, this is a task that like girls particularly like. You know, I'm not saying that guys can't do it or whatever, or vice versa. But this would be a focus for that, so I can I can continue what I'm interested in without having to deal with this kind of thing. So so it's, it's what sort are of fits in. Now my uh, well, we're 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 doing agriculture. We're growing all kinds of different kinds of fruit, and now uh, you know we'll we'll we'll, we'll do things like we'll, we'll we'll have passion fruit. We'll we're growing uh, herbs and, and and all kinds of uh, specialists. Yeah, yeah. We're not just doing spinach and 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 you know the things that regular people do. We're doing some other stuff, moringa, bamboo, the whole the whole thing. You know, we have just around the community house. We have like nine plots that we're growing regular. Fruit, you know, but if you do the bamboo, you know, yeah. um, you can make the yarn yourself. That's that. Well, we that's the thing about the baza. There's still there's a whole there's women, uh, and I know them. They they have we have yarns. We 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 have the machines for to to to, to make to, yarn. Or? Yeah yeah yeah. Oh, yeah. spinning wheels. Well. Yeah 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 yeah. But the whole the whole it's a big a big fact big thingy. Oh, you got to come and visit. You'll understand what I'm saying. Oh, I wouldn't mind. That would be great. Come and visit. We'll we'll put you up someplace because you know they'll they'll love to have you. They'll love to have. The thing is, I did it. did work with the NC for quite a few years, but not uh, not really such a good actorist because um, I don't always like people in groups. Mm. Do you, if you know what I mean. No, we just we 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 don't do that either. Mm. In fact, you know, I actually will only work with one guy. I don't do with. I shouldn't say work, but he's sort of organizes everything he organizes other people i'm like a the best way i can say I'm, I'm the guidance counselor and you know sometimes i tell you the guidance counselor you shouldn't trust some of the guys tell you to do something because they don't know that what your capability is so the way it works out because i've been working with these i've been working with this situation about eight years and this the last two years i've gotten to where i can get to where i need because what this this community house i'm talking about we we're about thought what we call thought speech and action so we think this thing out. We really research it. Then we talk it out. Then now we got to put it into action. Now I don't put it into action. They have to put it into action because it's their action that's going to be sustained. I'm an old guy. I might at any particular point. You, you know, do. they must do it. Hey. And, and, and guess what? And here's the thing, because you don't know me, but <laughs> <laughs> my my attitude is like, oh, I don't care. I got things. I got other things to do. I'm I'll go watch a movie. I go. I go. Yeah, yeah. I, I read a I book. Mean, are you also like the I, stage know. where you like? I don't have to help people. They can help themselves some of the time. I go. Quite like, often. I just go. I, I'm, 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 look, why are you bothering? I'm reading this book. You this know? is a really good book. Yeah. Oh, you, no, you're not as good as this book. You know. <laughs> In fact, you <laughs> do. You, why yeah, I yeah, be. yeah, you do something. You do something that's going to take me my attention away from this book. Then I, I well, maybe I might I'm be I'm, interested. And I might be interested. Mm. I might want to go blow my nose someplace before I. You know, uh, yeah, don't have to. Uh, <laughs> so, so the thing is, my I'm also interested in strategy. Ah. And my background is that I did psychology and I did um, a bit of like uh, science subjects mm -hmm. and I did um, uh, an MBA. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a general background in business. Mm -hmm. And then I got a little bit into philosophy. Um, because it's a nice thing, That's and I like things like language. I like philosophy. Hmm? I love philosophy. Yeah, that's a nice. Uh, what kind of philosophy do you like? Well, you know, I, uh, uh, 
at, a, at one particular point when I was in the Air Force, I was at what's called extension course at the college called Trenton State College, and we had the history, philosophy, logic, and uh, logic, history, of philosophy, oh, comparative religion. Uh-huh. So I like the religion part. Yeah, yeah, that's right? good, eh? Uh, I like comparative religion. I like, I started doing into um, empowerment and I did uh, change management consulting. Mm, I don't know what that is. Well, it's just, um, you know, especially because I worked in computers for quite a long time. Mm. So, for instance, I worked for IBM for eight years. Mm. So, what happened is, um, uh, remember we were talking about change and you get the moving the deck chairs from the left to the right? <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you bring in computer systems is that people don't want to use them. Uh, you know, especially if it's sort of like taking over some of their job and they mm-hmm. had their own way of doing it and now you want to find out how they're doing it. And they got to relearn. They got to go back to, they, they, have to re, they have to learn. Yeah, and maybe also then there's a policeman built into the computer. Uh, okay. For instance, yes, there's some things that people do like that. But in any case, so, so let me see. So the thing about... Uh, there's a whole lot of theories about how you get people to start thinking for themselves mm. and, you know, the World Bank and everybody, uh, how they put money into projects mm. and which ones mm. don't work and the other one doesn't work. and mm. So you get different theories about um, uh, ethics and about... Uh, how you create your reality if you're interested in the spiritual side of, mm-hmm. of the whole thing is how your thinking actually plays itself out in real life if you think thinking incorrectly or you're mm-hmm. too. So like I'm not too interested in doing things from say for instance a very religious perspective. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I think spirituality is different to being religious. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I don't really want to um, convert people or tell them what to do. And even, like as you say, if they don't want to work, then that's yeah. their choice. And, you know, so so what I'm thinking is, if you took some technology and some uh, business principles and you cooked up a thing where they were making really good stuff that they enjoyed, mm-hmm. because I was just talking to this chappy who came and stayed over uh, at, at us, he's an artist. And you can really get lost in your work mm. when you but I mean we can all get lost in all sorts of different type of work and so um, men can do it because there's uh, there's the dying part of it can be very nice mm. with, with putting the colors into the I'm not sure if I'm going to outsource that I might I might do that centrally because if I'm selling overseas, then it's hard to know what the quality is, and you don't want to have something where the color runs out. We have we have a thing we're going to call it's a brand that we're going to do. It's a part of the thing is like we say this has been township tested. If it's been township tested, that means it's authentic from the township. If it works in a township, it can work any place on the planet. Yeah, that's, so, our little, that's our little philosophy. Well, uh, I think uh, I think Africans have got a very good dress sense. Mm. And so I think if we made something, the name of my company is Mistaken Knit. Mm. And uh, somebody said to me, oh, you, what a you know, crazy name because there's something negative about a mistake. Nah, well, you know, there's, 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 there's that, there's that uh, I think it's the Persian rug theory, where there's, they purposely have one, a mistake okay. because they're not God. There's no such thing as perfection. So yeah, you're yeah. right, you're right in it's that. that and it's also that, you know, when you distress furniture and you take a steel wool or something mm. and you rub it over the, the, the surface and make it look old, mm. that it's got such a attractive quality sometimes about it. And and there's different things like I met people who were doing embroideries. Mm. And you can add the embroideries in and then there's handwork components that you can like do a certain percentage of the item on the machine Mm -hmm. and then add a handmade part to it. And the thing is also about younger people, Mm -hmm. the roles of men and women are changing. When will actually wash dishes and do things like Mm -hmm. they didn't do before, Mm -hmm. you know, so people, one of the first people who ever knitted were the sailors. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. Because they were either waiting to go fishing or something. Mm -hmm. They could do a jersey and if the jerseys, made of wool then it's got a sort of oil in it mm. which keeps the water off them so it's mm. sort of like a very modern form of of waterproofing yeah. 
Yeah. Well, and there's a lot of, there's so many things we could talk about. I, I really needed to, see, my thing is, I, I don't, I said I don't like the telephone. In fact, they tell me that uh, when I talk on the telephone, my voice is very sexy. I don't know what that means, but electronically, somehow, I, you know, because I'm a radio man, so mm -hmm. I understand all this. I, I can talk to people over the phone, I can talk to people over the phone, but I don't, I like, I need to see somebody, I need to feel their thingy, you their know? Energy, you know yeah, yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. So if, you know, I, like I said, I'm in the Eastern Cape, but I can come back and forth any time. I, I, well, and like I'm, I'm the advisor, so now I wanted, I needed to talk to you and put you on camera so you, so they can see who you are. Okay. You understand? Know, I know it's through electronic. I, I can't speak for you, mm. you see? And if I say, oh, I met this great person, blah, 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 they go like, oh, okay, sure. Uh, mm. We know a lot of people always come here and tell us this and that. Yeah, and blah, but blah, I always look so funny on camera. But anyway. <laughs> oh gosh, now I gotta go with yeah, that with yeah, people. You have no side, idea. It's a bit of side. Oh, you know, you know the funny. The, 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 like I said, I'm a radio man. A lot of times, you know, when you, when somebody is talking on a on a, on a recorder or something like that, they hear themselves, but they're hearing themselves from their outer ear, you know, because I mean they hear from the outer ear, but they, when they're talking, they're hearing themselves from their inner ear. So of course they 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 have more, um, you know more bass tones, more more baritone tones in the voice. So when they hear, that's not me, oh no, da da da. Well, it's the same thing people think they don't look good on camera. Well, maybe you're right, because you see, the camera doesn't lie. Maybe you're right. But if you're really authentic, your spirit comes through. Yeah, and I agree with that. you, I agree, yeah. So, um, so, so the thing is, that's what I want in the, in the, in the project, is that mm -hmm. people can do what works for them. So if they like doing Facebook, maybe they can be on the social media side. Exactly. And if they like uh, putting dye on, maybe mm. they can do the colors. Mm. And there's so many things, and I want to make it like a career path thing so that you mm. could start off in a certain way. And then the idea is that maybe if you get good at it, you could have a little hub with five people. Ah, that's what, yes. Mm -hmm. So that you have some sort of social fabric that mm. you work in with and whatever, and you can work out how you're going to work together mm -hmm. and then with whatsapp and everything you know with postnet you can send five kilograms yes. of stuff for a hundred grand and i only want to tackle one city at a time and i want to find people i like in that city mm -hmm. and then i can talk to them because i don't think people go off to um you know there's a saying that just because you've got a better mousetrap doesn't mean everybody's going to beat a path to your door mm -hmm. So just because your knitting's quite nice doesn't mean everybody's going to say, oh, I must do business with you. They don't even know who the hell you are. Mm -hmm. So you have to do, like, spread the word, uh, maybe by going to a flea market and building up a whole lot of people that know you and then finding the gems and then getting them to tell their friends mm -hmm. what you're doing. And they're saying there's a couple of things in the consulting reports. Number one, people want sustainable materials now. Mm -hmm. And I'm working with 100% wool. 100% cotton, bamboo, you know, mm. so it's dyed very naturally. It's very good for the in the vi environmental mm. sense. And then um, it's creating work, but very cheaply mm -hmm. because some of the machines you can buy for like um, $100. Really? Mm. Okay. It's like what? Uh, 1,400 rand, something like that these days. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's, it's good. Maybe, it's good. but those maybe a little bit not so good to buy but then maybe even two hundred dollars yeah well let's, um, let's, let's, let's like i said um i'm gonna i'm gonna start so you think i must come to dimbaza yes uh, you know um like i said i'm well let me stop here and then we, we can talk but okay, I, I can know. yeah but i can also i've got i've got some presentations that i could give you where you just hop from slide to slide mm -hmm. and then it will tell you the strategy okay that, yeah. that'll be fine too but See my see the thing is okay, I understand that a, a, a presentation is a wonderful, great whatever it is, but again, for the project that I'm working on, I say children, but you know the young the young people, I they have to, I want them to understand that you feel the spirit because otherwise then you get this, you 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 don't know whether you're scammed or not when it's coming over the thing you know, over the thing, whatever that, that medium is, you know what I mean? If you see the person, if you feel the person, you know, then you can invest in that person. Let me put this, there's a, there's a, there's a, a saying in business, you know, you do things for friends. Mm -hmm. That's it. So you have, <laughs> to, you have, to, you have to make friends. Mm -hmm. If you can't make a friend over, 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 you know, what's with this, I got how many friends on Instagram or whatever, not Instagram, or whatever, they say Facebook, whatever it is, I, you know, I 
you know. I think we would land up with so many people because on that basis, you know, it's like an organic process mm -hmm. where you could go viral even if, mm -hmm. you, if you're hot enough. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And, and there's nothing to stop people. And the thing is, I want to step out the way because like you, I'm not a spring chicken anymore and I want to go traveling and meet these people, yeah, maybe find that's, somebody. That's, in, that's, that's the point. That's really the point. So if I can get people who are doing the knitting and people who are doing the selling, then I can go and read a book. Exactly. Do you know? I know what you mean. Thanks so, so much for this time. I really appreciate it. Okay, okay great. Mm -hmm.